Hello everyone! Today we are going to implement a small horizontal scrolling list and so you can swipe right and left and scroll between the widgets and we will also create these little images with the title on the top. So let's just start. So we start with an empty application and the first thing what we want to tackle is that we create an animal card. So we just name it here animal card and this class we will implement in the directory widget and here we create another file which is called animal card and this animal card has two parameters. The first one is the title which is shown above the image and the second one is the path to the image, so we call it image or image path. And these both parameters need to be required. So I copy it here and add a comma here so it will reformat. So the next thing which I did is to wrap this image asset here with a column so that we can show multiple widgets underneath. And therefore I created another method, build title, which shows a text here and center this text. And also we create a background color of black so that we have a little bit background. And we want to expand this title over the whole screen. So we just add here a row and expand it here again. And now we should have a title which is over the whole screen. I also limited this container to the specialized width. So if I refresh it right now, it should have the width of 300 in pixels. Now we go to the main file. Here I did fill up the information for the image path and also the title. The next thing what we are doing is to extract this widget here to a method and we wrap it around with a so-called fractional size box and here we can specify the height factor and we go with 35% let's say this and here we have to return widget otherwise it wouldn't work and I go back to expressional body save it this thing doesn't work because right now we're saying to this widget okay you get only the size 35 percent of the screen and if we go to this widget here um, it is constrained to a width of 300 pixels so we have 300 pixels in width and also row but this image here doesn't know how much space it gets so we have to add here another widget which is called expanded to say this widget okay you can take the rest of the space which is not occupied by the row and if we save it we will go with this so this isn't looking great right now because the image is smaller in width than the title to change it we just have to add here two parameters we set the width and we also set fit to box fit cover so the image will fit in the size of the row. Let's save it. There we go. To make it a little bit looking better, I will also do it in another method, which I return here. I will return a widget instead of an image. Now we want to show multiple images next to each other in a row. So we just wrap it here with the row first of all and exchange all this stuff here import animals and we also need to change the method here so we have to pass a build context and a string image and a string title the animals variable is in my case a list of animals so i start here the title and the path to the image so if we save it right now we should have a big error so now we have an overflow here because it doesn't fit in the row. We have here multiple images which we want to show next to each other. 
So we have to exchange this widget here with the list view. And there we have also the property scroll direction, which we set to axis horizontal. And now we see it fits. We have multiple images, but it doesn't work like expected. We always show the same animal. So obviously we have to change here the hard coded stuff, what we wrote here with the parameters. And there we go. We have our beautiful images next to each other. To polish our app, we make this images more beautiful by adding, first of all, a margin, symmetric, horizontal, 8.0. There we go. So we have a little bit space between. And the last thing we want to have is to wrap this here with a clip air wrapped widget where we set the border radius to circular 16 and this will make the borders a little bit circular. And finally, we have made it, we have a great horizontal scrolling widget. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon, bye.